Sky Ranger Jeff, and this is What's Up in the Sky for June of 2022. It's the summer solstice. With the summer solstice comes the shortest night and the longest days. All of the planets are now morning planets, so you'll have to get up early to view them. Starting with Mercury, it reaches greatest elongation of 23 degrees west of the sun on June 16th. This is the best time to view it. It rises about one hour before the sun, so there won't be much time to view it. Mercury will be about 40% lit. Venus rises also around 4 a.m. It will go from 78% lit to 86% lit and be about 13 arc seconds, give or take, one arc second and magnitude of minus 3.9. Moon month is a good moniker for this month. On the 1st it will be a very thin crescent 30 minutes after sunset at 20 degrees in altitude. On the 12th it will be near the bright red star Antares, sometimes mistaken for Aries, or more commonly Mars. Full moon is on the 14th. The moon this month experiences a once in 18.6 year cycle where it will stay low on the horizon. Its color will be extremely yellow, bordering on red. Being low to the horizon, more sunlight is reflected off the moon and going through more of Earth's atmosphere, which absorbs the blue light, turning the moon more redder than normal. Join us and the Last Green Valley on the 6th as we look for the lunar XNV at the Hopeville State Park. Weather dependent, of course. We should be able to see the X and V sometime after 9 p.m. as the sun rays illuminate dawn on the moon's terminator. Check out details on the lastgreenvalley.org or tlgv.org website. Mars passes through the northwest corner of Cetus the whale from the 3rd to the 9th and then into Pisces the fish. Mars gets brighter this month from a magnitude 0.6 to 0.4. Its disk is also beginning to get just a tad larger at around 7 arc seconds. A 10 inch telescope might be able to reveal some detail. We are catching up to it and will be in opposition in 6 months. It clears the horizon at around 2.30 a.m. mid-month. Jupiter is very close to Mars, rising only about 20 minutes earlier and slightly to the west of Mars. Both planets will be nearly due east upon rising. It will rise at 1 a.m. by the end of the month. Look for the moon, Callisto, to pass Jupiter on the 5th between 4 and 5 a.m. Saturn is now well to the west of Mars and Jupiter. It rises around 1 a.m. on the 1st, and by the 30th it will rise at 11 p.m. The rings will be at their narrowest this month, only 12 degrees. Saturn spans 17 arc seconds without its rings. Uranus rises to the east of Jupiter and Mars and later than both of them forming a line of planets in the 3 a.m. and later sky. Neptune rises after 2 a.m. and is in Pisces the fish. On the 28th it will appear in retrograde that is moving in the opposite direction. It is only apparent because of Earth's motion around the Sun. It doesn't actually stop in reverse direction. It just appears to. We're looking for the asteroid Hygieia this month. Hygieia is named after the Greek goddess of health. Spica in Virgo is a very bright star and gets us in the general vicinity of Hygieia. It too goes into retrograde motion. It was discovered in 1849 by Annabelle de Gasparis and is considered a dwarf planet being 270 miles in diameter and round. It's a 10th magnitude object so you'll need dark skies and at least a 4 inch scope to pick it out. Look for it on the separate evenings and look for the object that moved. There are no meteor showers this month although an occasional meteor does collide with us. Comet C2017K2 Pan Stars is our comet. It has a 25 mile wide nucleus, but won't get too bright as it stays outside of even Mars orbit. Still, a medium sized telescope, 4 to 6 inches, will reveal it as a fuzzball. It will pass through Ophicius 
near NGC 6333 on the 1st and IC4665 on the 20th and slightly northeast of M14 on the 30th. Look up exact coordinates on the Minor Planet Ephemeris Center website. Our constellation of the month is Ophiuchus. Our sky, in our skies, he looks like a house, three sides and a pointed roof. Ophiuchus is a rather large constellation and home to many clusters of stars. Our object this month comes from the index catalog IC4665, the Summer Beehive Cluster in Ophiuchus. It is about 1400 light years away and is only about 40 million years old. It is a naked eye viewable object in dark skies, but a pair of binoculars or a small telescope will reveal it. Here is the month's orrery. Note that I have changed the look of it. I am actually using a 30 year old Amiga computer operating system to generate the image. I plan on proving the optics, but it is amazing how fast it is generated and how small the program is to create it. Here is a list of important dates. So go outside, enjoy the nice warm summer air, and look up and wonder at our universe.